and good morning to everyone. It's my honor to be here this morning. We, as Terry mentioned, I made the radical transition, if you will, a few years ago to switch from a 150-year-old medium to digital media. So like a lot of us in this room, it's been a transition, it's been a transgression, it's been a lot of different things. But it is nothing short of what a lot of folks describe as a miracle in terms of social media primarily. Now, in the next 20 minutes or so, I can't really cover everything about social media, but what I'd like to do is really focus on Facebook, if you will. Because when you look at all the social media sites, and there are hundreds of those, the behemoth is Facebook. In fact, when we first met at the Times Building in the middle of December, there were 500 million Facebook users globally. Now there are over 600 million. And in Tampa Bay alone, that number is getting to the 1.5 million number. So the people are there, and probably a lot of us are there. In fact, once upon a time, in fact, Facebook's only five years old. Most of us got on there to either stay in touch with relatives who live far away, or old classmates, different folks that we don't actually stay in touch with periodically. We have that opportunity through Facebook. So anyway, that's why a lot of consumers jumped onto Facebook. And they're having a great time with it, frankly. In fact, a lot of folks, it's kind of their social circle, if you will. As busy as we all are from 8 to 5 or 6 to 7 or whatever our hours are, a lot of times we can't stay in touch. Facebook gives us that opportunity. So when people go to a place, businesses follow. And Terry, if you would jump into the next slide here. I'm going to have just a couple of pages of statistics, if you will, so you know, bear, bear with me on that, but they're, they're very valuable. Because when you look at Facebook and some of the things that have transpired recently, it's, again, it's nothing short of a miracle. In fact, uh, three-fourths of Americans use social technology. Two-thirds of the global internet population visit social networks. Visiting, and I heard someone talk about email, how they spend most, most of their day on email. A lot of folks nowadays are actually using <coughs> social media to stay in touch with people as opposed to email. In fact, email marketing, which I'm extremely bullish on, I mean, that's a, a product that a lot of businesses are very successful with, there's a little bit of a transition down as social media continues to climb. And in fact, a lot of folks just email directly through Facebook or other forms of social media. So a lot of switch to social media, if you will. And again, 93% of social media users believe a company should have a presence in social media. So when the consumers are saying, you know, I, I hope businesses are there, a lot of businesses are kind of standing up and paying attention to that and making that move. And again, here's just a, a few of the icons at the bottom. When you, when you talk about social media, Facebook, Twitter, this B is for blogs, SNS, not everyone calls that a social media, but that search engine uh, marketing, uh, Google searching, Yahoo, things like that. Email marketing's next uh, icon, and YouTube, which is starting to really grow rapidly and uh, not nearing catching Facebook, but certainly very popular. Uh, next and last statistic page, but again, very valuable information, is that, again, you know, when you read through these, you can see that more and more people are really engaged with Facebook. It's, it's extremely popular. And 71% of the U.S. web audience is on Facebook. 73% of businesses, and this is just a recent study that's out uh, where we have the, the source on this. 73% of businesses plan to increase their use of Facebook in 2011. Again, as I mentioned, there are 600 million or nearly 600 million users. Now, that's global. That's throughout the entire world. And uh, I source the next one. I'm saying your customers and digital customers are obsessed with Facebook. Because everywhere I run, and I'm not totally obsessed with it. My wife, now that's, that's another story. She really likes to get on and, and stay on. And, you know, I, I was visiting someone the other day, and they, they knew what I had for dinner. They knew I exercised <laughs> that day. I'm like, how did you know that? Well, your wife mentioned that on Facebook. So, uh, a lot of different radical uses of it. But again, people are there. And again, nearly 1.5 in the Tampa Bay area, so a lot of you are there, a lot of customers are there, a lot of potential customers are there. And if you remember, if you can remember one thing today, here's, here's really the, 
the thing that if you would take home or take back to work with you, that's probably the most valuable thing that uh, I'll share with you today. And again, it's not, it's not a, a revelation to many of you. In fact, you're probably saying, yes, I, I get that. Or if you don't know, it's really something to, to take home. And this is two-thirds of Facebook users say that friends' recommendations of businesses and products influence their decision. So again, over the years, or at least in, as Terry mentioned, I've, I've spent a lot of time in the newspaper advertising business, so I've talked to a lot of different customers throughout the, the decade, and word of mouth continues, even to this day, to be the most important form of advertising. Well, back in the day when I first started, it would be perhaps me talking to my neighbor and my neighbor recommending a realtor or a title insurance company or a, a mortgage company or a plumber or a roofer or someone to do land or whatever the case may be, whatever I was shopping for, if my neighbor told me that, more than likely I would really believe that person and I would call that person or I would check around. And so word of mouth, again, back in the day, if you will, me talking over the fence. Now, for example, if Terry and I, if Terry and I are Facebook friends, if she posts something on her Facebook and she talks about a realtor or she talks about a mortgage person or again, fill in the blank business, more than likely I will believe her. In fact, if Terry tells me about this was the greatest restaurant I've ever been to, the food's delicious, the service is wonderful, the price is right, I'm going there because I believe her. And that's what a lot of businesses are experiencing, that once someone posts something on Facebook, they believe it because they're friends of them, and that's just, the again, the phenomenon that's taking place. 